All right, this one's gonna be on Kindle Comic Converter, the command line version this time. I talked about the GUI a long time ago. Um, I forgot to talk about the, the command line, so I'm double backing here to do it here. Anyways, uh, this one's called KCC, and this one's C2E, and you can do a dash dash help for the you know the little help page here. Um, so the only thing I'm gonna use in here really, what the hell is happening? There you go. Um. The only thing we're using here is the profiles. So I am using a Kindle 3. So I can use, you know, this one here, K3 or 4. So they're basically the same thing, Kindle 3 or 4. Uh, if you use something else, just make sure you enter that in for the profile. The other thing we want to do, since we're, we're going to convert comics, we want to do a upscale and stretch. Otherwise, you have these little margins on the side of, you know, your comics. And it's really annoying. It takes up, um, you know, a good space where you can you actually read more com more of the comics. Um, but anyways, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do upscale and stretch. And if you want to like change the formats, you could. Otherwise, by you know default, it would use auto, and that's what I use anyway. So uh, we don't have to really change the format if you don't need to. All right. Anyways, that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, real easy. What was that we have this one comic appears called Silver Surfer Requiem O2 here. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do KCC and we're gonna do what was that command I did before? So this was the command here I'm using. So I'm gonna use a flag called a profile. So I'm gonna use that Kindle 3 here since my device is Kindle 3. Um, we're gonna do an upscale and we're gonna do a stretch, and then you all you gotta do is feed in the, the file name. In this case, we have this CBR file here, right? And that's really all you gotta do is hit enter. And it's gonna do its thing. And it's gonna create a uh, Mobi file here in a minute. So we have this Mobi file. And all you gotta do is, you know, um, drag and drop that into your Kindle if you wanna read your comics now. So let me show you an example where it looks like um, when we're doing this here. Bust out my webcam. And we have what was this one? Okay, I'll show you the one that Caliber um, program does first, so you can see the difference here. Let me uh, go to this one. So you see here, this is uh, what the hell is that? Zoom in, focus. You see number one here, right? This one is created by uh, Caliber, and let me open it so you can see the difference here. Um, you see that they have like the margins here, right? It's, it's, it's wasting space here when you're reading like your mangas or your comics. And it always annoys me. I'm not sure if there's an option in Calibre where you can fix that, but, um, you know, I, I, I never figured that out. But as far as number two, this one's done by this program here that I just showed you. Uh, it was a Kindle Comic Converter, right? And number two here, uh, I can see that there is no none of that stupid margins that's wasting our space when we're reading and that's what I've been using for uh, comics and stuff like that and I got this Kindle I've been collecting these Kindles it's so cheap nowadays got this one for five bucks off of offer up or is it Craigslist one of those anyways um, that's how you use this here and what do you need to install when you're doing this same thing really that we did I showed you last time what is that Kindle Comic something like that one of these uh, There you go KCC Kindle comic converter. Uh, I think there was another one Let's just search for Kindle. I remember there was another one you need. Oh Yeah, you need to install this one too Kindle gen it's the command line tool and this one's kind of like a front end to that um, You know Kindle gen, but it's the same thing and this one actually comes with the GUI too like I said um, that I showed you last time so this one that we used last time I forgot to talk about the command line so I'm um, you know double backing to do this video here but you know the, all the options I showed you before is you can do it from the GUI if you like so you pick one of your devices that um, you're trying to convert to they do have support for a like, Kobo and even others like let's say you have a Sony reader or something like that you can do that um, and the only thing that we did in here was stretch and upscale and if you want you know a different output format you can do that Anyways, I already talked about this one uh, a while back, so 
if you want to watch that video, it's in the description. That'll be it for this one for the command line option. Um, I think I'm going to try to script this to use it with Calibre so it can actually show up in my library, uh, you know, that I have with Calibre also. Anyways, I'll try to figure that out. That'll be it for this one. 